Hello and welcome to HTAC Technologies YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce HTMS, which stands for HTAC Device Management System. I'll explain what it is, what it does, and how to use it. HDMS is a system to solve the complexities of provisioning, management, call quality control, and troubleshooting. And this is its homepage. Here are the benefits for customers. It can realize easy management and deployment bulk devices, reduce management difficulty and cost. For resellers, it can increase customer engagement and reduce technical support difficulty and frequency. HDMS is mainly divided into these nine modules. If you want to manage complete configuration, you should use profile management, account management, and configuration management. You can add devices by yourself in device management. After a device is connected, remote operations can be performed. HDMS supports one-time or regular timer tasks to achieve a variety of user needs in task management. You can view the total number of accounts, devices, and the corresponding statistical analysis in dashboard. Meanwhile, HTMS supports real-time call statistics for registered accounts, analyzes the quality of each call, and records the detailed information of calls. HTMS will immediately receive a warning notification when an abnormal condition occurs in the device. Timely diagnosis helps users solve problems quickly. You can create new accounts in system management. Next, let me go into details of each module. You can divide profiles into different groups. Every group has a unique group name so that you can manage a certain type of profile centrally. The upper picture is the actual interface. The lower picture is from our phone's web page. After adding profile groups and profiles, you can add account information in account management. You can also bind accounts to devices for monitoring account status. The practical operation is like this. First, add a profile group. You need to input the group name and other necessary information. Save the settings and enter the group. Now you can add a profile. Here you need to at least fill in SIP server information. After saving the profile, you can add an account. While setting the account, you need to choose a previously created profile. Fill in other account information. And now, you can bind this account to devices. Device management mainly manages devices firmware and resources. The key point of a device in our list is its MAC address. With the device's MAC address, you can add it according to an existing model. And in the device list, you can do all the things you can see here, like updating device information, import or export, push configuration files, etc. Pretty much like remote operation. You can add a device model upload firmware files in firmware group, and upload other sorts of files in the resources group, like screensaver, phone book, and so on. Besides, you can also add a device to blacklist. The practical operation is like this. To add a device, you need to first add device models. You can modify the name of the device model or upload a new JSON file, which is in zip format.
Then add the device according to an existing model. Enter the device name, choose a model, and enter MAC address. After Sync RPS is enabled, the default configuration server path of the device will be redirected to the management system. Choose Profile and Account. You can do various operations to the device, like turn on or turn off DND, push configuration, resource files, and firmware, send message, reboot, reset to factory, etc. HDMS's configuration management can help administrators manage a large number of configurations more flexibly, and it doesn't include profile and account. If you want to provision all phones of a particular model, use model configuration. Personalized phone group is in group configuration. You can configure a single phone in Mac configuration. The practical operation is like this. You can manage device configurations by customizing configuration templates and classifying them by device model. Input name and choose a model. Here, you can edit the configuration, including function keys, network, setting, directory, and management. You can update the device configuration right now or later. HDMS supports group management configurations to help administrators organize and push device configurations within the same group. You can create a group and choose devices for this group. And now, all devices in this group can be configured together. Each configuration corresponds to a device which is convenient for administrators to push personalized configuration to devices. In the task management bar, you can flexibly set the timing task instead of fuzzy manual operation, and you can also track the record of each task execution. Task content includes reboot, send message, reset to factory, DND, cancel DND, push configuration file, push resource, push firmware. And here are examples of created tasks. You can see the task name, content, execution time, status, etc. In business analysis, you can view the total number of accounts and devices and the corresponding statistical analysis. They are in the form of pie chart and are very easy to comprehend. HDMS can make real-time call statistics for registered accounts, analyze the quality of each call, and record the detailed information of calls. For example, in this record, we can see whether this call is of good quality, when the call took place, and how long it lasted. The device information and account information, along with other technical details about this call. You can use the device diagnosis function of the management system to collect fault information so as to quickly analyze the cause of the fault and facilitate the centralized management of the devices. Device diagnosis can help users to grab packets, detect network, export system log, export configuration file, check CPU status, download recording file, save screenshots, etc. In addition to the device diagnosis function helping the administrator to eliminate the fault, the alarm management function can also provide effective fault information for the administrator. This system can remind the administrator in real time when devices have faults and help the administrator solve the problems in real time. The system consists of two parts. In alarm list, you can see all the alarms that have been triggered 
and what every alarm is about. In alarm strategy, you can decide who is the receiver of alarm notification and whether to notify the person in station or through email. The practical operation is like this. You can set the alarm strategy as required. Input name, select alarm type, the way to receive alarm, choose a receiver, and decide to turn it on or off. Then you can have real-time alarm notification. In alarm list, you can jump directly to device diagnostics. That is all about HTAC device management system. If you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching and see you next time.